September 13, 2014. Now, this is a strange case. Some four years ago, this Jack Russell came in with a swelling about the same area as today, but uh, much lower down the eyelid. I thought it was a kinase tube abscess, but the kinase tube was normal. So I drain it, I lance it, and uh, there was some pus. So I advised the owner that uh, this could be an encapsulated abscess, which means it might come back again. And over the last four years, according to the owner, the swelling did come back and go off until the uh, last few months when uh, the swelling gets bigger and bigger as it illustrated here, nearly obstructing the vision. So she brought it in today for surgery. Now, I aspirated using an 1ml syringe and aspirated the brownish yellowish liquid. And uh, this tense swelling, 4cm times 5cm times 2cm, collapsed. So I thought it was okay. But two hours later, the swelling starts to form again. So I decided that uh, I have to electro excise it. So I, I open up the skin, a huge U flap from below the eyelid. And uh, that is the area where the normal lacrimal sac is. And uh, I excise two subcutaneous lumps. They could be just the tumors or just tissues. And after that, I it, it incise further up a bit towards the lacrimal sac. About 0.5 ml of liquid, brownish liquid, suddenly leak out. So this could be the lacrimal sac liquid the tears or could be the cyst. So what is a diagnosis? The diagnosis could be that uh, that the lacrimal sac was blocked either by the cyst or by a tumor and it starts to balloon balloon out so hard and tense uh, obstructing the eye side of the right eye and aspiration reduces the swelling almost to normal size but uh, it forms back again so now the owner agrees to send the fluid to check for cancerous cells other than that this 11 year old Jack Russell is much loved by the owner and uh, we will wait and see what's the results.